Hey guys, it's Raphael, and with me here I have a uh, used movie prop from The Wolfman. Uh, of course, Rick Baker, what can I say? Um, uh, I, you know, if you saw my video on Montapalooza, there, he's putting up a lot of things up for auction. There's a lot of stuff that there's no way I could ever afford something like that. And, uh, and that is happening in May, I think, 29th. Uh, he's selling a bunch of stuff all up for auction and it's going to be amazing and I wish I was rich. Uh, quick story, uh, I have been a fan of Rick Baker's and I mean who isn't um, for, well shit, I don't know. I was 17 years old when, when uh, I, uh, you know, I, I discovered him and uh, I am now 55 so you do the math. Uh, I actually even named my firstborn after him. So my son, firstborn, is Rick Robledo. Um, I've always, you know, dreamed to be able to see his stuff in person. And, and uh, you know, I'm fortunate enough to live here in L.A. and I could travel to certain conventions. And I was fortunate enough to uh, have the guts to actually ask him, you know, if I could... Uh, uh, see his studio and he was nice enough to allow me and my my uh, children all grown up to see it as you can see in the uh, one of my YouTubes I recorded everything the only regret I have is that there was another couple there who also were visiting the studio and while Rick was uh, showing them and explaining certain things to them I, I just got too excited and roamed around and recording everything close-ups and everything as much as I could which I now regret because I should have just stayed next to Rick Baker and and recorded each piece as he was explaining them uh, to us or to them as well so I do regret not doing the right filming I guess you could say either way I do appreciate you know that uh, that he allowed us to uh, to see all that Especially now that a lot of that stuff there is is going up on uh, for sale. Uh, again, uh, you know, I was I got lucky on this guy. Um, uh, I saw it up on eBay, and I just had to jump on it because I did order a book uh, from the prop store of all the stuff that Rick Baker is going to put up an auction, and not one picture in here shows a complete mask used in the Wolfman movie so I have to admit um, I think the guy paid two grand for this I saw uh, you know uh, an invoice and yes I paid he, he did a good a good uh, a good profit on it because I couldn't let this go um, I just had to have this um, so yeah uh, he made a huge profit um, a little bit more than half but that's okay because to me this is this is worth it. I mean, this was apparently used in the film. It's not the actual makeup piece. It's a mask that was used for stunt work or maybe you know when when the makeup was not needed. Uh, so I'm very happy about that. But anyway, so I'll show some close up on this. But this uh, book here it at least shows a lot of stuff, and I'll I'll, I'll show a little bit on this uh, that he's selling a bunch of cool stuff. And um, anyway, so. Uh, thanks for watching. Let's get some close up on this guy now. It comes with a certificate of the prop store. And I had a, a little plaque made, which is this. Uh, so that's going to be cool. And I'm hoping, and you know, it's hard to know when Rick will be in any conventions, but I, I hope to see him and have him sign this. So that'd be nice. Um, okay, very quickly in Spanish, I'm sorry. Amigos, uh, Rafael aquí. Bien rápidamente, yo soy muy fanático a Rick Baker, el maquillista, uno de los mejores que, que pueden existir. Y pude obtener esta máscara que fue usada en la película del Hombre Lobo. Uh, normalmente es el maquillaje que usan, pero esto fue usado cuando no se requiere el maquillaje, sea en peleas o, 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 o escenas de lejos. Uh, tuve suerte en obtenerla. Este, yo siempre he sido fan de él desde que tengo 17 años. Ahorita ya tengo 55, así que ustedes hagan la, la cuenta. Uh, tuve oportunidad de verlo en persona y ver su, su estudio en persona. Uh, y este, pueden ver mi video en eso. Uh, y este, él va a tener ya una, o sea, una subasta de muchas cosas que, que él va a deshacerse. 
aquí obtení el, el libro donde enseñan muchas cosas muchas cosas que van a ser muy, muy, muy difícil de obtener, muy caras de seguro um, pero en fin, ni modo quisiera ser millonario ahorita para poder comprar muchas cosas más esto me salió cariñosito pero valió la pena uh, tuve pura suerte de encontrarlo en, en una subasta que no era esta uh, uh, y este, porque en esta no tienen una máscara de completa como esta uh, así que tuve mucha suerte en obtenerla bueno, vamos a enseñarles un poquito del libro uh, y luego uh, acercarme a uh, esto uh, anyways, ok, let's get close ups on the book real quick so you can get an idea what, what stuff he's uh, actually putting up in auction and it's going to be amazing, it's going to be cool, I wish I was rich anyways, ok ok, as you can see, uh, Rick Baker, that will be the May 29th at 11 a.m. aquí está la subasta, mayo 29 those who do not know who Rick Baker is, which I'm amazed that some people actually do not know. Uh, that's Rick Baker, uh, of course, American Werewolf in London, and other things he's done. Um, so let's check a look real quick. All this stuff is for sale. Todo esto va a estar en venta. Melting Man. I mean, look at this stuff. I'm going pretty quick because there's a lot of stuff here. I mean, look at this. Estimated 4,000 to 6,000. And I'm pretty sure this is going to go way higher than that. Um, precio que más o menos le calculan 4,000 a 6,000 por esto. Uh, so, I mean, what are the chances? No way. Look at this, amazing. Gremlins. I'm going kind of quick. Voy muy rápido, pero, you know, maybe you can stop the uh, video so you can take a better look. Look at this. Esto me encantaría. I would love this. Baby's Day Out. That's crazy. But look at this. 2,000, 3,000? Yeah, there's a chance, but I kind of doubt that. Baby's Day Out. Nighty Professor. Men in Black. Oh, look at this guy. Full size. Calculation, 20,000 or 30,000. Calculation, 20 a 30 mil dollars. Super cool stuff. Oh, I would love this. Calculation, 3,000, 4,000. Oh, man. Esto me encantaría. But, I don't know. Mighty Joe Young. Oh, cool. The Grinch. Planet of the Apes. Look at this. How amazing is that? Oh man. Increíble. Planet of the Simios. Planet of the Apes. Look at that. Wow. Men in Black again. I think this is three. Yeah, 2002. Men in Black 2. Hombres de Negro, parte 2. Look at this. Oh, wow. 
So cool. Look at that. If you guys got money, si tienen dinero, hey, go to the auction. May 29th, 11 a.m. Oh man, so cool. Hellboy, look at that. Crazy. Look at that. Like he's that werewolf. Wolfman. See, you have this full one here, so that's pretty nice, but I didn't care for that one. But this one here, amazing, but it's not complete. Uh, this one, I guess you can cut the hair. No están completos, but it's not bad. Así que, so cool. Transformation head. Too bad they did CGI. They really, f man, I was about to say the F word. Yeah, fuck it. They really fucked it up by using CGI. It's too bad. If it would have been his stuff, it would have been 10 times more amazing. Bueno, amigos, people, let's get a close up look on the uh, mask now. So here's the certificate of authenticity, prop store, stunt mask, which I'm assuming was used either by the stunt man or also, uh, you know, uh, Benicio del Toro when the f full makeup was not necessary, like maybe from far shots and running around. Uh, here's a little plaque I did, uh, so hopefully I can have Rick Baker sign that. That'd be amazing. Esta la máscara usada en la película cuando no se requería el el maquillaje. Eso lo usan como para cuando pelean o cuando están, este, tal vez, uh, escenas de lejos. Look at that. So cool. And here, of course, you know, it's has some kind of little soft leather in there for the actor. All right, guys, well, this is my grail. Again, I would sell everything in my collection before I ever let this go. That's how much I love this thing. Bueno, amigos, espero les guste en la nueva colección. Les diré que esto es lo número uno que me encanta. Es mi número uno en mi colección. Fácil vendería cualquier cosa y toda mi colección antes de dejar que esto saliera de mis manos. All right, guys. Till next time.